I hope you guys are all ready for a huge Topshop try and haul. I kind of look like I've got a bob right now. Imagine if I ever cut off my hair. I feel like you're going to be just totally shocked <laughs> by what is in this bag and the bag <laughs> that is inside the bag is well very good morning everybody and welcome back to the vlog it's been a couple of weeks but i am back and it feels pretty good i am just about to start doing my makeup and i'm also eating avocado this is my new favorite thing so it's gluten-free bread smashed avocado sun-dried tomatoes and then hot sauce I've never been a person that really likes spicy food, but this hot sauce takes this breakfast to another level. <laughs> but I devoured that in all of about six seconds. <laughs> I'm actually drinking water out of a wine glass this morning because I'm bougie. I mean, it's not really bougie, basically. Let me just take a drink. I have no glasses left and they're all in the dishwasher. So a wine glass it is. I'm also not going to tie my hair up like this because it's going to get a huge kink in it but I thought I'd start the vlog by just doing my makeup with you all because it's been a little while since I've done my makeup. Well I do my makeup every day but I mean it's been a little while since I've done my makeup with you guys and I just thought I'd show you my really quick and easy everyday makeup routine and just some of the products that I use basically and quick is going to be the key word here okay so this is not going to be a really detailed tutorial nor my makeup artist so please do not judge my makeup skills anyway how are you guys all doing i hope you're all keeping safe and well it's been a little while hasn't it i took a couple of weeks off of youtube not for any massive reasons or anything like that just mainly because as i guess all of you know i moved to london it was about um maybe no it was a month ago now maybe two months getting up to two months by the way i'm just using the laura mercier primer underneath my makeup so yeah as i was saying when i first moved here i just feel like everything was quite a lot and i was also still trying to do like youtube at the same time moving for me was a lot more emotional and stressful than i ever ever imagined um it just took a lot out of me and i actually just found myself getting in a little bit of a bad place I think I've spoken about it a number of times before on Instagram and stuff, and maybe even on here as well. But I, unfortunately, as many of us do, do suffer quite a lot with, like, anxiety. And I can sometimes just get myself a little bit run down and a little bit depressed, you know? And I just knew that it was really creeping up on me, and I wasn't feeling myself. I just felt like I was burning the candle at every end. And I just felt as well that I just needed to give myself a little bit of a step back, take a breather... Taking the fact that I've moved, settled myself, and then get back to filming YouTubes, basically. And yeah, basically, I feel so much better. I feel back to my normal self, and that's why I've been gone. Anyway, foundation. Obviously, I've got a beauty blender, and then I've got my Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum. I also mix it with my Luminous Silk, which I've barely got any left of. So I've just been scraping that out of the bottle. I've been mixing these two foundations together for i'd say two years probably <laughs> for me personally i just feel like this is the perfect foundation mix just because the skin serum from bobby brown is really light coverage and it's also quite a dewy finish and then also the luminous silk my goodness also the luminous silk is quite a dewy finish but not as much as the bobby brown so i just feel like them together for me it just really works on my skin and also doesn't feel too heavy it doesn't feel to like thick and like all the rest of it and yeah i just really like it so after that's all blended i then go in with the concealer this is the flawless fusion ultra longwear concealer from laura mercier i got this a little while ago and i absolutely love it i often find with concealers they can kind of like make your face look a little bit cakey but this one doesn't at all it's like really easy to blend out and yeah i just really rate it i actually haven't got that much of it left and it's in the shade 1W. I did watch a makeup tutorial the other day from Sarah Ashkoff. And she was using a new Laura Mercier concealer. And I think today, because obviously I need to go and get a new foundation. I thought that I might pick up like a little bit of new makeup. Because, well, for like, you know, with makeup, I feel like you just run out of everything at the same time. Well, I do anyway. And I just feel like I could do with doing a little bit of makeup shopping. So maybe we will do that in today's vlog. So after concealer, we go in with a little bit of contour. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick. I actually used to use this ages ago and then just stopped. And I was cleaning out my makeup bag, or cleaning out like my makeup tray a little while ago. And I found it. And I feel like I found like a newfound love for it again. It's really good. It's once again really blendable. I feel like I've said that about everything. 
and it just gives you a little bit of definition on your face i actually love the chanel you know the um bronzer like the creamy bronzer from chanel maybe i'll buy that today as well but that is actually my favorite kind of like contour bronzer but i ran out of it and it's very expensive but it's actually my birthday next week guys i don't know if i told you that in a vlog just recently but it is my birthday on the 28th of april can't really believe it i'm gonna be 28 on the 28th which is just wild but i felt like i wanted to just get myself a few little treats for my birthday so a new makeup kind of kit is going to be one of my birthday treats because why not if you can't treat yourself on your birthday then who is going to <laughs> my last birthday and also christmas and valentine's like i always buy myself a gift for valentine's christmas and my birthday kind of sad but kind of cute but i didn't get one because i was obviously buying a house so all of my money was just very focused on furniture and buying a house and stuff and well obviously at the minute i am not buying a house so i've gone back to treating myself a little bit because why not next up is powder this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder i love this so much it is so well loved as you can see this is something else i need to pick up i'm actually gonna have to write a list so i remember everything i feel like it's gonna be so bloody expensive but as i say it's gonna be one of my birthday treats i know like so many of us this is going to be my second birthday in a pandemic which is just crazy i feel like the last year you know like usually with every year i can be like on my 21st birthday like i went to blah 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 on the, my 22nd like every single year of my life i kind of have memorable memories based on places i went and things i did well i can't lie but my 27th year i never left the country i know so many of us didn't and yeah i don't really know what i did i spent a lot of time at home <laughs> But overall, it wasn't a really bad year. It was fine. But hoping and praying that this next year is going to be better for all of us. Next up, a little bit of contour bronzer. So this is NARS Laguna. I've been using this for years. I feel like everyone knows about this bronzer. It's honestly so good. And, well, yeah, I'm such a fan. And then just to bronze up my face a little bit more and just blend everything in, I am using this, which is a MAC give me sun i love this so much especially in like spring summer time it's such a strong bronzer and it literally says or does what it says on the tin even which was kind of looks like it gives you sun it just gives you a really great sun kiss glow and let's face it we're not really getting too much sun here at the moment so this bronzer is my best friend on to brows, I use the Refi pencil. So this is Jess Hunt from Instagram. I'm sure all of you are familiar with her. She is absolutely unreal. This is her brand. And yeah, it's so good. I just use it on my brows just to kind of fill in any sparse areas. I don't like it to be too thick or anything, but just kind of make it look a little bit neater. And after I penciled in my brows, I then just use an old mascara, which I know is a little bit skanky, but I just find it really works. And I just use that for the end of my brows just to define them a bit because I don't put the brow pencil through my kind of end of my brows because I just find it looks a little bit fake kind of thing. And I like my brows nowadays to look a little bit more natural than I did in the past. <laughs> then, of course, just onto mascara. Obviously, I don't wear lash extensions anymore because my natural eyelashes have grown quite a lot you know that is one thing i achieved in this pandemic i achieved growing my lashes which is obviously all thanks to an eyelash serum i also permed them the other day as well so they're quite curly at the minute but the mascara i use is the l'oreal telescopic mascara so many of you i've said about this before but so many of you guys recommended this mascara to me and i have to say i wasn't let down i've been using it now for god since like christmas i'd say and yeah i've absolutely fallen in love with it I can't believe how much mascara I've just printed on my eyelids. Like, how did I even manage that? Then for lip liner, obviously, MAC Boldly Bare, my favourite lip liner in the whole world. In the daytime, I just do it like a tiny bit. I don't like to overline my lips in the day. And then for gloss, I use this one, which is Iconic London's Plumping Gloss. I love these glosses so much. In the colour Love Struck. And then the last step is a little bit of highlight. I use this, which is Iconic London's original illuminator well it's in the shade original i pop it on a little brush where is my brush so a little fan brush and i just pop it down my cheekbones and on the bridge of my nose 
And that is my very quick, everyday, easy makeup tutorial. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a makeup artist, but it just makes me look half alive and... Well, yeah, that's pretty much it, basically. I mean, obviously, if I was going somewhere special, I would take a lot more time and care, but... I'm not, so <laughs> this is just something that I do on an everyday basis. Now I need to quickly blow dry my hair. And I think I'm actually going to wear my hair straight today. Moved you a little bit further back whilst I'm doing my hair. So to dry my hair, I am using this bad boy. So this is my Helios hair dryer from GHD. I think that's what it's called. And I've had this over a year now. Fully rate it. It dries my hair in the quickest time ever because it does get pretty hot, but also it doesn't damage my hair either. And yeah i really rate it so all i do is i tie my hair into two sections so it's super simple and just blow dry it you guys my pajamas how cute are these they've got Freya on them love anything personalized they're from ha designs which has been around a good few years now i saw recently they actually just got into selfridges which is pretty cool indeed but um yeah they are such lovely pajamas and they feel amazing anyway this is my hair blow dried as you can tell i have naturally straight hair but it is a little bit frizzy at the end so i always like to run over it when i wear my hair straight with the straighteners so these are the new ghd max straighteners they've got thicker plates than like a regular ghd straightener and it just means straighten your hair is 10 times faster than it already was it also leaves your hair like so much kind of smoother and silkier and i just can't rate them enough honestly i feel they'd even be better on people that have curly hair obviously i don't have curly hair but if you did i've heard these are so good for that and i just go over it all to be honest you don't really need to do it twice like once is pretty much enough and it's literally as simple and easy as that so here's the difference this side is like super sleek and straight and this side is still a little bit ruffled up by the way i was one of those unorganized idiots <laughs> that never booked a hairdresser's appointment so my roots let's not even talk about them i haven't got a hairdresser's appointment until mid-may guys so yeah <laughs> i wish i'd been organized and booked it sooner i always feel so odd with straight hair but anyway this is my everyday very quick and easy hair and makeup routine obviously everything i featured will be linked down below so if you've seen anything you want to buy then you can easily go and shop it all from there anyway in today's vlog obviously we've done my hair and makeup but we're also going to do a little well i say a little it's going to be a big top shop try on haul i did the biggest order from asos and I'm very happy with the pieces I picked out. I've also got something that I bought that I want to show you, which you are all going to need to tell me if I should keep or not. So we'll get to that in a minute. And then, yeah, we're going to go makeup shopping. I'm going to go out. I think I'm going to run to Harrods because Harrods isn't actually that far from me. So I think I'm going to run there, get my steps in, get, do a little bit of exercise and pick up some new makeup pieces. So hopefully we'll enjoy the rest of this vlog. And cheers with my bougie morning glass of water. <laughs> I hope you guys are all ready for a huge Topshop try and haul. As I told you already, I'm so happy with everything I picked up. There are a few pieces that are maybe slightly the wrong size. That's not Topshop's fault, though. That is totally my fault for kind of picking the wrong size. But I will talk you through each product, tell you which size I would recommend you to get, and also link everything down below so you can easily go and shop it all from there. I just quickly need to add, I'm so excited to be working with Topshop again. They have been one of my favourite brands since God. Like, I was a young teenager, <laughs> so it really, really makes me so happy that they're now being stocked on ASOS. So, let's start with this outfit. I know, I feel like a lot of you are going to be shocked that I am in a little bit of colour, but as I've told you guys many times before, pink is my favourite colour, so come spring, summer, it does make an appearance every now and again. So, I saw this blazer on the website and I just knew I had to have it. Now, I picked this up one size bigger than my regular size, so I picked it up in a size 12 and it is already quite an oversized fit. 
I think it would be better if I just picked it up in a size 10 just because it's probably a little bit too big but regardless I absolutely love it the price was a complete steal and the quality of it feels amazing like I cannot fault this blazer whatsoever and I think it just massively screams spring summer vibes then underneath the blazer I've just got on a plain white tee that I've actually just tucked into my bra I've been doing this a lot just recently because normal crop tops I often find a tight and I don't like wearing a tight crop top or if you just buy a regular top and then you tuck it into your bra you get this kind of like overhang baggy look and also what's great about it is if you go out for dinner or anything like that you can then untuck it when you've had a large meal and you no longer want to show your midriff <laughs> so yeah there's a tip for me and I feel like it works quite nicely then if I move back I'll show you my jeans so these are the straight leg jeans they are a little bit big so I would say if you're in between sizes I would definitely size down I got these in my regular size but as I say they are slightly baggy do like that though so it doesn't give you like any overhang and I also love the colour of these being like a light blue denim I feel like they look very summery I absolutely love this outfit I mean I'm totally blowing my own trumpet I think it could take you pretty much everywhere obviously I've just popped it on with a pair of Gucci loafers but you could easily dress this up with a pair of heels you could dress it down with a pair of trainers and you can also wear all of these items like multiple different ways you could wear this blazer with white jeans you could wear it with shorts you could wear these jeans with a black tee basically it can all be interchanged and mixed and matched and I feel like outfit number one is a winner okay so my next outfit i kind of look like i've got a bob right now imagine if i ever cut off my hair It'd be so weird but anyway this is a gray blazer obviously as you guys can see now i've been on a hunt for the longest time for a pale gray blazer i have charcoal gray ones i have darker gray ones could i find a pale gray one for the life of me that was in stock no I found this one on Topshop. I actually picked it up two sizes bigger than my regular size and I feel like it is a little bit big. I'm going to be honest, it's a little bit big. But I do love the whole like oversized look. So for me, it's not too bad, but I would recommend to you guys just getting your regular size in it. All that being said, I think it's great. It is literally the perfect color gray and would be so great for spring summer. Underneath, I've then just paired a gray t-shirt. So I've done a little bit of like monochrome look here. I feel like some people would think this looks a little bit odd, like gray on gray, but I personally really like this and I think it looks really good. So the gray t-shirt I just got in my regular size and I've just tucked it into a pair of the famous skinny Jamie jeans. So the reason these are famous is because they've been around for so many years. I used to wear the Jamie black jeans to work. I think I even wore them to sixth form, you know? And they are the comfiest skinny jeans because they are so stretchy. Honestly, this is me showing you the stretchiness of them. They just don't feel like you're wearing skinny jeans at all. They're not restricting and they're just my favourites ever. I picked these up in my regular size, which is a 28 waist, and it's usually a 32 leg, but these are actually a cropped fit, so the leg length of them is just 30. I then I finished the whole outfit with my grey New Balance trainers, and I love the contrast so much of the white and the grey. I think this is such like an effortless look. I kind of feel like a soccer mum in this outfit. <laughs> But as I say, I think it's a really effortless look. Once again, like the other outfit I showed you, you can dress it up or you could dress it down. And I just think it would pretty much take you anywhere. And a great thing about all these pieces, they can also be worked into your like autumn winter outfits as well. So this grey blazer, I know I'll definitely be wearing again in the winter time. But obviously for spring summer, it's perfect as well. We love those pieces that can be worn all year long okay so next outfit is super super casual and i mean you could dress this up as well you could easily wear this a pair of heels but i have definitely dressed this down so we've just got on a little cropped black tee i love these i actually got one of these last year and wore it basically all winter they're just kind of like the perfect length where it's not too cropped but at the same time it's a little bit cropped and yeah they're just perfect for wearing it with jeans and stuff like that now onto my shorts which i absolutely love i'll step back so you can see how they look in full i've obviously styled this outfit with a pair of converse but yes my shorts are a denim cycling short i love a cycling short and i feel like these are a great a great <laughs> a great twist on a fabric one so i feel like they look a lot smarter don't get me wrong i love how comfortable the fabric ones are you know they're super stretchy and easy to run around in but to be honest these are really comfy as well i did pick these up in my regular size and i would say that they do size a little bit big 
but as I say, I like that because it does make them super comfortable. I feel like this outfit kind of screams LA vibes. Unfortunately, I'm not going to LA anytime soon. Well, not that I know of anyway, but we can all hope and dream. <laughs> but I do think this outfit would be really good here in summertime as well. I also think these shorts are a great alternative to a really short short. I know a lot of people don't really love to show too much leg and some people are like conscious of their upper thighs. So I do think that these are a perfect short for summertime for anyone that wants something a little bit less revealing but also wants to be wearing a short in the warmer weather. I fully rate these shorts and I think I'm going to end up wearing them so much in the up and coming months. Okay, next up we've got a knitted vest. So I know it's kind of like the wrong time of year for knitwear, but I feel like this is a really good sort of transitional piece and something you could actually wear all year round. So it's an oversized knitted vest. Now I actually have this on in a size small. So as you can see, it is a very large fit. I've underneath just popped on a little oversized t-shirt just so you can see how I'd style it up. I feel like as the weather warms up slightly, this could look really cool and it's just like a really easy outfit. I then just finished the outfit off with my white platform converse which are pretty timeless <laughs> to say the least and as I say I just feel like this is a really easy outfit for spring summertime and yeah a good way to get your legs out but also keep warm on top as well. I can't explain to you how happy I am I got my hands on this cropped denim jacket. Basically I had a Topshop one that I actually bought for my birthday. I then lost it when it actually got stolen on a night out in London on my actual birthday so it didn't last very long. I went and repurchased that jacket it was very well loved and then last summer I lost it. I think maybe one of my friends has it. <laughs> I'm not too sure but I needed to replace it so when I saw this one I was very quick to get it. Now what I did in this jacket I actually went three sizes up than my regular size so this is actually a size 14. It is a little bit too big maybe a 12 would probably have been better but I do love how it looks. I didn't want it to be like a really tight fitting denim jacket because I don't personally like how they look. I wanted it to be like an oversized vibe which is exactly what it is. These are so perfect for wearing with cycling shorts, t-shirt dresses, hoodies. Like I just get so much use out of them in spring summertime and I absolutely love the colour of this one. It's like an acid wash denim. I'm just going to move back just so you can see like the length of it on me. So I've just got on the same t-shirt dress and then a pair of platform converse again as well so the next piece i want to show you are these jeans i've actually just put it on with the same white tee as i showed you in the beginning as you can see with this white tee it's actually got quite long sleeves on it which i really like these jeans are in like a mushroomy brown color and they are gorgeous they are honestly so so nice they're a really lovely fit where they just finish just above your ankle these are called the straight leg jeans i have these on in my regular size and i would say they fit like a dream absolutely love them they are just faultless in my eyes i've then just put them on with a little pair of white loafers and i mean this outfit some people might be a little bit boring but i feel like it's just something that could take you anywhere every single day and i think it just looks really clean and spring-like and chic well, we started the haul with a little bit of colour, so I thought we'd better end the haul with some more colour. So I said to you all, pink's my favourite colour, but it's closely followed, if not on par with lilac. And this jumper just screamed at me when I was shopping online. I actually envisioned to wear this with a pair of white cycling shorts. But I don't actually own the white cycling shorts yet. So if any of you have seen any online, please let me know where I can get some. So I picked this up in a size 14. I would say if I hadn't have sized up, it probably wouldn't be that oversized. Because obviously it's big now, but only because it's three sizes too big for me. So I would say if you're wanting this kind of fit, 100% size up. But yeah, I think it's really cute and I'm sure you'll see me soon with a pair of white cycling shorts on and how I envisioned wearing it. <laughs> Well, this is future me right now, and excuse the state of my face, I have no makeup on, but I've just been, so this is like the day after the vlog that you're now watching, and I've just been picking an outfit of what I'm going to wear today, and realised I never showed you this Topshop cardigan. The reason I didn't show you it is because I actually wore it the day before I did this vlog, and... I just forgot about it, it was in like my main wardrobe, but I need to show you guys because it is absolutely unreal. So it is a long length, so you can see how far it comes down on me, cardigan. It's so cosy, it's got this big hood on it as well. I have it in a size small and yeah, it's just so nice. I feel like it's such a good transitional piece. It's like the weather here in the UK is so sunny at the moment, which is great, absolutely love the sunshine, but it's still bloody freezing. So yeah, 
I'm loving things like cardigans because they keep you warm, they look nice, and um, yeah, they're just practical. And this one is an absolute winner. So yeah, I just needed to include it in this vlog and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I hope you enjoyed that little haul. You're probably gonna see all of those outfits over on my Instagram over the next few weeks. I love it when I do hauls like that though because it makes me like make outfits as I go along. So I'm like, okay, next time I shoot, I'll be wearing that. And I'm also going out for lunch tomorrow. So I'm thinking I might wear the gray outfit, potentially. Anyway, I am so hungry today. And I don't know why, it wasn't even that long ago that I had breakfast, but I'm fully starved. So I'm having some of my favorite, this hummus. I've said it a million times, it's unbelievable. And a carrot stick, well I'm gonna eat like a whole bag of carrot sticks probably. Um, sorry I shouldn't took my mouthful, but I need to show you guys my new bag because we're gonna have to let me know what you think. I'm gonna tell you what I was thinking when I ordered it. I don't know. Okay, before I show you what I got, I feel like I need to do a little bit of explaining because I feel like you're gonna be just totally shocked <laughs> by what is in this bag. Basically, I love colors. Although I don't wear too much color, I do love bright colors. I love purples and lilacs, like I've told you a million times. But the reason my wardrobe is mainly neutrals is because I love the fact that everything is kind of like interchangeable. So the fact everything can be like mixed and matched, worn together, it can all be worn all year round. Neutrals never go out of fashion. They're really classic. And also, I feel like when you wear bright colors, people look at you a lot and I don't really like that so I like to wear neutrals just because that's what I feel comfortable in and personally I think everything is better in a neutral colour that's my own personal preference and I know everyone feels differently about that or whatever but that's just my little intro all that being said every now and again I feel like it's fun to wear a little bit of colour and I've been toying with the idea for a long time of getting a handbag that is of a bright colour and I saw this and I don't know, something just spoke to me and said, get it. So, it's inside this dust bag, which is Balenciaga. Sorry, it's currently upside down. So it's Balenciaga dust bag. And the bag <laughs> that is inside the bag is the Hourglass Balenciaga bag in the lilac colour. I mean, what are we all thinking? <laughs> are we loving it? Are we not loving it? I think it's pretty great like the only reason I'm hesitant about keeping her or it whatever we want to say about it is because how much is it actually going to go with I have some really gorgeous like pink and lilac blazers which I think would be quite cool with it and I do also think it would look really nice just with like a white tee blue jeans and then like this is the pop of color I don't know I just fancied being a little bit fun obviously my handbag collection is at like a quite a good size now and I'm happy with all the neutrals I have and I'm just kind of ready to introduce like a little bit of colour and I just really liked it. What do you guys think? I feel like it's going to have very mixed reviews. I actually put it on my Instagram story and more of you liked it than I thought were going to like it but I don't know what are you all thinking over on YouTube guys? Do we love her? Do we hate her? Do we think she's cute? What are we all saying? It does come in like a dusky pink colour as well. But I actually went into Selfridges and I looked at the dusky pink colour. And I just felt like it was a little bit nothing. Like it's not, it kind of looks more nude than it does pink. I do think however it would go with so much more than this bold lilac. But I just kind of preferred this. But what do we think? Let me know in the comment section if we're loving it if we're not loving it, and if you think it's gonna go with anything, or if you think I'm gonna regret it. I'm just thinking it could be really fun in summer. I don't know. Oh, I do kind of love her. I don't, I don't know, I really don't know. <laughs> I have absolutely failed at life today. Like, can't even deny it. Since I last spoke to you, which was a lot of hours ago, I've got changed into my gym gear, as you can see, and didn't actually go anywhere. I just feel like so tired all of the time and it's actually getting quite late and it's gonna get dark soon and I'm trying to build up some motivation to go for a run so the whole going to Harrods for makeup is completely gone out the window that's not gonna happen but I do think I'm gonna do that tomorrow so stay tuned for the next vlog for that but what am I gonna eat for dinner what am I gonna do now oh, I don't know why I just feel like I really need a good night's sleep 
I'm gonna show you a few bits that I picked up from H&M this week because at least that's something. So a couple of new pieces and we have this cushion which I did love. I still do love but I'm also not sure how it goes on this chair. I think it looks better over here on my sofa but it's kind of cute. So obviously matches the rest of my room, very beige and then it's got these little pom-poms all over it as well. As always with H&M Home it was a really good price as well. And then I also picked up this vase. So it doesn't actually go here. It goes behind me next to the chair because the window is there. You can't see it on camera. But it's got, let me turn it slightly so you can see it. It's got like a face on it. Can you see? It's got lips, eyes. And I think it's really cool. And then obviously in it, I've just got this faux eucalyptus that I got from Ikea. But I think it's really effective and I love it so much. These flowers need to go in the bin. I don't know if I showed you guys these, but my best friend Abby got me these for hitting 500k on Insta, which was a few weeks ago now. <laughs> but they actually lasted so long and it's only been the last 24 hours that they've began to die but i'm actually so sad to see them go i need to get some new flowers there tomorrow i feel i just don't think i'm ever gonna go out tonight anyway i'm really sat here beating myself up for not going for a run shall i go i feel like i probably should we'll take 20 minutes maybe i should go <laughs> A very good morning to you all. Sorry about the state of me right now. I'm just finishing off doing my hair and I need to do my makeup. But today is obviously a whole new day. I'm actually vlogging again today. But I'm sorry I didn't end this vlog last night. But basically, I had a big bowl of pasta and I went to bed. I was just not in the mood to do any fitness or to do anything, in fact. So I literally just had a good old sleep and I feel fresh today and ready to vlog again. So I just wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope so much you enjoyed it. And if you did, why not subscribe to my channel? If you don't already, that would be great. <laughs> and I hope so much I will see you in my next video. Take care guys and thanks again for watching. Bye bye.